It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson is live in Swamico with more. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. We're out here by the giraffes, and we've got a lot of things going on in this area, but one of the things we wanted to show you, this is something you normally don't see. You can see the goose is perched on top of a roof. So you really don't see that uh, very often, but she got a pretty good sight up there and checking out the whole children's zoo. And yeah. You know, we're down here um, by the giraffe exhibit shelter exhibit, but one of the things that we're getting ready to do is introduce uh, this little guy here. Uh, this is Sherman. Sherman's about a year old, and he's a little pronghorn. He's going to join the pronghorn out on exhibit. Now remember, Sherman came in last year, and we had built this area, which is next to our North American Plains. You see there's a small gate over there, and that gate is what we'll end up doing is we'll end up opening that up, and you can see it's just big enough for the uh, pronghorn to kind of work their way in here. So they've got an area if they want to get away from the bison and also the elk. But Sherman's had a buddy over here, Twix, and Twix is over on the side here. Twix is a, just a domestic goat. Twix is going to go back to the children's zoo. Twix, she did her job, and what she ended up doing is you can see how nice and calm Sherm is. And uh, she ended up being a companion animal back here throughout the whole winter with Sherm. And that really helps in this situation here, and a lot of times uh, bringing in a domestic goat to help calm down any type of hoof stock. And that's something that we do within the zoo industry is uh, even, even if we're bringing an animal in and we've got to put them into quarantine, we may take one of the domestic goats. But you, you remember you know, a while back too with domestic goats, we are showing their pupils. Now check those, this is a good view. You can see their pupils are rectangular hmm. in shape which is pretty pretty neat. Oh, cool. Now, which, which is uh, really, really interesting for them. But, you know, one of the things too down here, you know, we mentioned that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get Sherman into that exhibit. Well, we're going to build a similar type uh, caging system, fencing system behind our barn here. And that will be, you can see in the distance, you can see our elk. We've got a two-year-old little male elk and you know, he actually just dropped his antlers about two weeks ago. So he's a few weeks uh, back. And you know, it's interesting because the spring has been, uh, has been real slow around here and it's been slow for the animals, but we're gonna go ahead and be able to transfer him to the back and then we're gonna start working this little guy onto exhibit. So when you come out, you'll be able to see him out there. Excellent, cool. and those rectangular pupils. Yeah, thanks, thanks Neil. Yes.